Hello everybody, so today I will talk about algebra and geometry. So today this is about comprehension everything. Question 1a, we need to prove that secant of theta square plus cosecant of theta square equal to secant of theta square multiplied with cosecant of theta square. So in this situation, we have secant of theta square plus cosecant of theta square. We know that this one we can put about 1 over cosine theta square plus 1 over sine theta square. And then we do common denominator. So you got about sine theta square in here. Plus cosine theta square. Multiply this one in here. So you got about 1 over sine theta square. Cosine theta square. And this is about same with secant. This is 1 over cosine theta square. We change for secant of theta square. And this one, you got about cosecant of theta square. And we just prove about this one. Question number 1b. We have 3 cosine theta square plus 4 sine theta square equal to number 2. So if we look carefully, we have number 3 and number 4. We go about 3 square plus 4 square equal to number 5. So we divide both sides with number 5 in here. So 3 over 5, we can put about uh, cosine of 3 over 5 will equal to uh, sine of 4 over 5. And I will put about alpha. So in this situation, we will go about cosine alpha cosine theta plus sine alpha sine theta equal to 2 over 5 because if we put alpha in this one you got back 4 over 5 similar for a uh, cosine in here this formula in here we can put about cosine alpha minus beta oh sorry theta this one we can put about cosine or cosine 2 over 5 So we have two solutions in here. The first one, this is about alpha minus theta equal to a uh, cosine 2 over 5 plus K2P. And K should belong to integers. So the next one, alpha minus theta equal to a uh, cosine 2 over 5 
plus k to p and then we put alpha go in here and we have the negative sign so we got about theta equal to we move it on you got negative alpha so alpha got about positive minus a cosine two o five So we put alpha we can do about a cosine three over five. So the question they ask about from 0 to 360 degrees. So this one you got about the negative, so k equal to number 1 in here. This one you got about positive, so you k got about 0 in here. And two solution we need to find. That's the about a cosine. 3 over 5 minus a cosine 2 over 5 plus 2p and the second one So we got this one is about 346 boy 71 degrees and this one you got about 119 boy 55 degrees so this is two solution of the question. Now let's go to the second one. Show that the points A, B, C form an isosceles triangle. Isosceles is that mean A, B, B, C and A, C they have the same length. So we need to find A, B. So we have negative number 3 minus number 5 to the power of 2, number 0 minus 6, you got about positive. So the length in here, we calculate, is about 10. Similar for BC. So we have minus 1 plus 3 and we have 2 minus 0. You got about two square root of number two, and we have AC. So 
So we move about minus 1, minus 5. And number 2 minus number 6, you got about 2 plus 6. You got about 10. So we see that a equal to a b a equal to a c with number 10. So we can say that this is about a solid triangle. The next one, find the value of this one. So we have side theta plus 40 equal to 1 over 2. So we can go about side of 30 degree. So we go about theta plus 40 equal to 30 plus K multiply with 360 and K should be long to integers and the next one you got about 180 minus 30 plus K multiply with 360 so we put 40 going here and here So you got negative number 10, k multiplied with 360, similar with 180, minus 30, minus 40, you got about 110. So the question they ask from 0 to 360, this one we need to put k equal to number 1. This one we just move about k equal to number 0 in here. And now we get the final answer. This is about 350. This is about 110. And that is the solution of the second one. Question A. If the ratio of the side of triangle is 5, 6, 7, find the side of the largest angle. So, we can put about A in here. So, the side of this one, we, we got about 5A. 5A. A, 6A. 7A. The largest angle that should be about the opposite side with the 7A in here. So we will use about both sides. Theta. So we have 5 and 6. So we have 2 multiplied with 5A multiplied with 6A. So in the triangle we know that the largest they should be about opposite with the side the with the largest side in here so we have 5a 6a so we have 5a square plus 7a square oh sorry 6a square minus 7a square So we calculate this number in here. We got about 1 over 2 and uh, theta equal to a uh, cosine 1 over 2. Oh, uh, this is 1 over 5, sorry. And that should be about 78 by 46.
So we go to the next one. We have six cosine theta square plus two sine theta square equal to number five. We want to find tan theta square. That's about one over three. So if we look carefully, we can go about four cosine theta square. And in here, number six, we have number two. And two side theta square. This one, we can do about factorization. And uh, we can change to the number one. So we have four cosine theta square equal to two we put number two on the right that's why you got negative number two negative two plus five you got about three so that we have cosine theta square equal to three over four so if we want to find side theta square, we have one minus cosine theta square. Cosine theta square is about three over four. And you got about one over four. We know that tan theta square we can move about side theta square divide cosine theta square so we have number in here and you got about 1 over 3 Question number four. Find the radius and coordinate of the circle. We have two x square plus two y square minus three x plus five y plus two equal to number zero. So we divide both sides with number two. So we move about s square minus 3 over 2 s. So about 3 over 2, we can go about two multiply with 3 over 4 s. So we have s, we have 3 over 4. In this situation, we need to add about over 4 square in here now let's do similar for y square we got about 5 over 2 we can do about 2 multiply with 5 over 4 and we have y in here so that means we need to have 5 over 4 square because we need to need th this one so we need to minus 3 over 4 square and minus 5 over 4 square and we have number 1 in here so this one and this one we can put about s minus 3 over 4 to the power of 2 
and y minus 5 over 4 everything to the power of 2 so we sum all the number in here and move them on the right you got about 9 over 8 now we can find the central in here the central of this circle is about 3 over 4 5 over 4 and the radius we put the square root of 9 over 8 and you got the answer in here that's about 3 multiplied with the square root of number 2 over 4 and that's the answer of the question next one question 2 is wrong you don't need to rule about that. Question B for B number 1. We have sine 90 plus A equal to negative cosine B plus C. The question they mentioned that A, B and C are angles in a triangle. So we know the formula a plus B plus C equal to 180 so in this situation B plus C we can change about cosine 180 minus A we put A go to the right that's why you got about negative A in here we can apply cosine 180 cosine A plus side 180 side A so this one you got about negative number 1 cosine A This one you got about zero, so that's why we don't have anything. Negative, negative. You got about positive cosine a. About this one, we can put about sine ninety cosine a plus cosine ninety side A so this one you got about 0 this one you got about 1 and uh, on the left you change to cosine A and you can see that on the right you got cosine A on the left you got cosine A so this is about correct question 5A we need to prove about this one so we do common denominator and we got about cosine b side b Side A multiplied with side B. Cosine B multiplied with cosine A. Later that we put number 2 on the both side. On numerator we change that's about to cosine a minus b this is about trigonometric identity that's about side 2 b and that's the answer of the question a
the next one find a solution we have two side s square minus side s minus one so we change t equal to side s so you got about two t square minus t minus one equal to number zero in here so we got about psi s equal to number one and psi s equal to negative one over two so we have three s equal to 90 degrees and that's about k to multiply with 180 you got about 360 and k should belong to integers the second one negative 1 over 2 that's about s equal to negative 30 plus k multiplied with 360 and the last one that's about 180 minus 30 you got about positive 30 so the question they ask find the value from 0 to 360 so we have s equal to 90 s equal to negative 30 plus 360 in here you got about 330 and this one we don't need to add any number in here so you got about 210 and the last one define parabola, hyperbola and ellipse you can check on the textbook they have the definition about this one about P I need to sketch the diagram write out their equations about parabola the formula of this one that should be about y equal to a multiplied with s minus h square plus b the graph that should be like this or maybe like this the next one this is about hyperbola so the formula that should be about s square minus or s square over a square minus y square over b square equal to number one so the graph should be like this This is about the graph of hyperbola. And the last one, P list. So the formula S square over A square plus Y square over B square equal to number one and the formula of the E lips. it should be like this that's it, the end thank you for watching